You asked a great question about what types of diabetes there are and how it's diagnosed or what num what like what someone's blood sugar would have to be to actually diagnose diabetes. There's a couple of different types. The first one is type 1 diabetes, and that's the kind that a lot of people think of if someone's had it from the time they were a child, and that's because it's something that happens inside of your body. It's not necessarily affected, um, it's not caused by environmental factors, it's the, it, your pancreas doesn't work. Your pancreas is a little organ that releases insulin, and insulin is this cool thing that uh, attaches, that it, it unlocks the cells in your body and allows for the blood sugar to go into the cells. So if your pancreas isn't able to make insulin, which is type 1 diabetes, then your blood sugar is always high, and it causes different kinds of symptoms like um, you feel you have to pee all the time, you're really thirsty, and you lose weight because your cells are starving, they're not getting the sugar that they need. So that's type 1. Type 2 is what a lot of people think of for people who have developed it later in life. Um, so this is actually when your cells become resistant to insulin. And so your pancreas makes insulin, that's not the issue, but your cells don't necessarily react to it like they should. So there's a few things that can put you at higher risk for type 2 diabetes, like genetics. So if a lot of people in your family have had it, then you would be at higher risk. Women have a higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes, and so do people of certain ethnic groups. And then there are some people that have medical conditions that cause their bodies to become insulin resistant. So um, that's type 2. And then gestational diabetes is diabetes of pregnancy, and all women are tested around 28 weeks, and if your blood sugar levels are about 130 to 140, your doctor may retest you. And then after that, if the second test shows that your blood sugar is still high, they'll either have you control your blood sugar with diet, just watching what you eat, sometimes women have to take pills, or in... Um, Severe cases, you have to actually give yourself insulin. And having gestational diabetes does put you at higher risk to develop type 2 diabetes later on in life. So if you're not like if you're not talking about gestational, just type 1 or type 2, most people are diagnosed with having the symptoms that I talked about earlier. So you have to pee all the time, you're losing weight, um, you're very thirsty, and then if you have a blood a random blood sugar of 200 or greater on at least two occasions. And there's a lot of other criteria, but if you're suspecting that you or someone you know has diabetes, I recommend going to the doctor and talking with them about your symptoms and they can do the proper blood work and decide if it's actually an issue or not. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.